of the Mighty Coalition for Democratic Change, President Weir. Our distinguished speaker and highest ranking official in government of the Mighty Coalition for Democratic Change and members of the CDC Legislative Caucus. Our distinguished chairman, Secretary General, and members of the National Executive Committee of the Congress for Democratic Change. The chairman of the Liberty Party, Honor Musa Hassan Bediti. Our distinguished Chairman of the Legislative Caucus of the Coalition for Democratic Change, Chairman Emeritus of the Mali Coalition for Democratic Change, Honorable Nathaniel Fallo Magu. Our veteran and members of member of the Governing Council. Chairman Emeritus of the great National Patriotic Party, the legend himself, Chief Suriyali. Members of the platform, members of the great coalition for democratic change, members of all the political institutions, the religious community, our distinguished members of the fourth estate. I'm honored today, you know, and I will call my Secretary General Jefferson Koji to be here. I made it my duty to come here today. My reflection of the history of the political established militant set of the mighty Congress of Democratic Change is a focus from this pedestal and this is spot, this headquarter about 19 to 20 years ago when we took on the mantle of authority on this ground to guide the process when we are called talks when we are called against us when we are called on educated people we made a decision in the history of this country to produce the leadership of this country. Some thought it was a bluff. Some thought it was a joke. But where I stand today is where we all stood. Some of you who are 20 years old today, at this moment, you were on board of the generation of the struggle and you met the struggle and today we are proud that you are in development of the struggle. The history of the struggle of the CDC is second to none. Let me repeat. The history of the struggle of the CDC is second to none. I remember vividly exactly 19 years ago when the CDC was robbed of the 2005 elections, when the cookies were stolen from the cookies jar, the late Papi Solo was put on the murder in front of the United States Embassy. But this grunter, Carlos, members of the state security forces, Few weeks in 2005, our people were shot at on this part of the ground. Wounders were placed on our people. People got wounded. I remember a boy who was shot on this part of the ground. My FPN. And he used to live Rototown. 
he lived and bare the scar of the revolution. Another female was wounded here at this spot in 2005. Her hands got broken and subsequently she passed away. May her soul rest in perpetual peace. My 2011. Between 2005 and 2011, the party was challenged. There was mass deflection of some of our best. The party was on an attack. It took the young cadre, the foot soldiers, men of revolutionary substance. Some are on the platform today and will pass an instruction as Assistant Secretary General. I remember the history of Kato, of Hannibal, Katish. He told his son, Hannibal, the greatest African general, he said the Romans are your enemy. Swear to me in the synagogue that you will fight the Romans and you will never surrender to them. We took an oath. Young revolutionary cadres, males and females, because the party felt betrayed. The Salif led administration was splashing jobs and cash and political cohesion, arresting our people arbitrarily, putting them behind bars. The CDC got challenged. We broke the storm. We challenged the status quo. We never surrender. The first six years, we never surrender. 12 years, we never surrender. And this party, we never, we emphasis, ever surrender to the evil forces. Our soldiers were executed on this party ground. Two at the back and one right at the headquarters. The man who shot and killed our people today is a darling boy in the Liberian National Police. They brought him back to shoot more guns. Get ready to shoot because we challenge the status quo appropriately. On this part of ground, the ball was killed and shot at. The standard bar, the vast standard bar in the hammer jeep, they shot at the car to execute seditions and seditions. We bear the scar of the revolution. We don't want to reflect on the number of times we were arrested and went beyond bars. I don't want to reflect when Jefferson Koji went beyond bars. I don't want to reflect when our former parties in Mobile Model went beyond bars. I don't want to go on those reflections because those are sad moments. Once you did not comply with the administration, you became a target. Between 2011 and 2017, the CDC again became a target. Americans who stood and bear the scar of the reality. May that soul rest in perpetual peace. James Gray, a matter general. The late Muna Penon Young Blood, the soldier, and a matter. Long live the revolution. Long live the revolution. Long live the revolution. Long live the revolution. We never surrender, we fought. There were women in the history of the country. Nobody thought that a Muna Peno who comes from a party and background will become a representative. Nobody thought that Nakawa's Gray who came from the slums and ghettos of Raspberry Valley will become a representative. Nobody thought that Thomas Fala who is the deputy speaker of the Republic of Liberia today for the plan fee who have become a deputy speaker. If we can be, you can also be. Yeah. 2017, 
We took the state democratically, constitutionally, and politically. My 2023, all the lies, the deception, the session. And I want to say this to the OIN apology. And Nathaniel Maguire was the on session. The CDC who are maintain power today. Our guys were being targets. They target some of our best. They cannot provide the evidence. They try to destroy a young man like Jefferson Koji, a Maritan, a son who sits in the center of my mind and not my heart. Because those who think with their heart are not smart. You must think with your hair because that's where the thinking capacity is. You know the party thing with the heart and the thing with the hair. That's the difference between us. Amanda! Amanda! I must consider this a target of sanctions against our people. They fought us domestically and internationally. I want to say to all seditions here today, power is not given. Power is taken. The CDC will take power 2029 constitutionally and democratically. Let me repeat. Power is not given. Power is taken. And the way we take power is constitutionally and democratically. Let me turn the pendulum to our Americans, our soldiers, our representation in the legislature. Mr. Speaker, we made a decision to make you our leader. You are the leader of seditions and seditions. And you are the leader of the Republic of Liberia in just near the first branch of government. The message is clear. It's written on the wall. If you touch Fonati, you touch CDC. The only 17,000 votes dividing us. Let me repeat. Only 17,000 votes. For Fonati, not a big speaker in Liberia, let me repeat. It's for CDC to decide. To forcefully, to brutally, to unconstitutional attempt, then I mean there is no work. Then I mean there will be a dissolution of the French branch of government. The revolution in Kenya, the people move to the to the bailey. We can move. In fact, you are in district number eight, so you are protected. We don't need to borrow him moving to move in. Amanda! 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 Mr. Speaker and Mr. Chairman of the Legislative Caucus, you have a mandate. You have no choice. You represent us and you represent Liberia. The voice of the people is the voice of God, voice popular, voice the mean. Mr. Speaker, I want to say to you and to the caucus chairman, you, the both of you, you have the support of the Labrian people. No political party, whether you like it or not. You don't have the number, United Party does not have the numerical strength that the coalition has. Mr. Speaker, fire on. Mr. Speaker, fire on. Mr. Congress Chairman, if you are alone, stand up. Remember, Mr. Congress Chairman, you led this party to a resounding victory. Nobody can test you. You cannot be expelled. To expel you, Mr. Chairman, is to expel the CDC for the Republic of Liberia. Amanda! 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 The reason why the militants are speaking to you today, we are hungry, we are angry. Mr. Kogos Chairman, there's no way they can bring a yellow machine to the country. Mr. Kogos Chairman, there's no budget for and there's no ratify loan agreement. Mr. Chairman, if the majority will walk out and bark on the session and become the disruptor, you are under obligation, Mr. Chairman.
Ghana, you have no choice. They cannot usurp the function of the legislature at the Kotele 4D. Mr. Chairman, they cannot. Even the Assas Baka declare. Baka forced them declare. And them, section 10.2 of the Code of Conduct that Baka served. The law said false declaration of removal. That the only punishment written by law. False declaration. Impeachment. Put the impeachment bill on the table and what are you using? Why you shut up? Amanda! Amanda! And what you say? Amanda! 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 Mr. Chairman, the reason why I speak to you most, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, Amanda! 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 Mr. Chairman, we are with you. Mr. Chairman, the militants are ready to fight. 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 Mr. Chairman, look here. With all the stand up here, with the ring, unannounced, look at the people that are here. No political party can invoke the spirit that we have. Amanda! 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 Mr. Chairman, why you Mr. Chairman, the reason why you see we keep fighting with you people because our future depends on you people, Mr. Speaker, and your future depends on us. Mr. Speaker, you have no choice. Mr. Speaker, you have no choice. You have a responsibility to fight all. Amanda! 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 I've been with you for five minutes. You see the people? Now the people are many of the Nigerian people. Amanda! 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 Let me also use this occasion to appreciate Mr. Benete. Mr. Benete, you are not ordinary man in the legislature. Whether you like it or not, besides being a political leader, your opinion is not in the bureau. Mr. Benete, you people have the majority. Mr. Benete, your national political identity over the masses. You are a citizen. Make no mistake. Amanda! 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 You know, Mr. Benete, you represent the masses in the market. Day. The party represents the faces of the masses. That's your identity. I see my papa, Chief Siri Ali, shaking your head. Because that the people who treat us, when we fire in the happy. But Mr. Chairman of the party, Congress for Democratic Change, the Coalition for Democratic Change, Mr. Chairman, let me say thank you. It's not easy to lead. Mr. Secretary General, members of the National Executive Committee of the CDC, let me say thank you. I want to say to sedition, please, your lawmakers of the show that they will fight on. Please don't attack them. We'll get the people the benefit of the dancers more coming past now. Please. We got Foco, we got everybody here. But in closing, in closing, because all the people got to speak. In closing, I want to say to sedition and sedices. Twenty twenty nine is our time. I want to say again to sedition and sedices. Twenty twenty nine is our time. Our people have been watching that a lot of ministry and agencies of government. The code of conduct provides that there should be no harassment. People should work on a smooth atmosphere. But Joseph Bagan and Jeremiah Kuhn, let me repeat, I know some poor girl verse. But the other legislature, the first man that will hang out at Jeremiah Kuhn. 
Let me repeat. If the other legislature, the family of Poe Mwai Heng, the legislature of Jeremiah Kuhn, he's the most corrupt lawmaker in the history of the country. Amanda! Amanda! How can you fight corruption of a man like Joseph Bagai? When Joseph Bagai signed over 70 concession agreement that finished the country. When I saw Joseph Bagai taking 40,000 for Block 13, and you tell me Joseph Bagai now wrote? Joseph Bagai that team. Amanda! 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 Seko, 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 Sini, Sini, Seko! Cha-cha, Cha-cha, Sini, Sini, Cha-cha! Hey, we had it! Fuck on my baby, hey, we had it! Sorry, hey, we had it! Hey, we had it! Hey, we had it! Thank you very much, thank you very much! Ultimate Moses Akara's great. Amanda! I saw you heard it. The Patrick Henry was said, nobody get on liberty, get on death, on liberty. The Michael X was said, nobody gave you liberty, nobody gave you equality. Justice, if you are mad enough, you should go for it. And go for it quickly. So as a student of Thomas Sankara, Sankara once told all that is sodium of 